Hello, hello. We back. It is Friday before Friday night before Mother's Day, y'all. And I have a Mother's Day brunch. I'm um, one of the two people that are responsible for doing the Mother's Day brunch down where I'm from in Charleston at my mama house. So I'm going to make a strawberry shortcake and I'll do the bonus round. Now, if y'all don't know, this is my favorite dessert of all times and it is highly requested by my family. So let's get into it. So to my butter golden cake mix, y'all, I added French vanilla pudding. Not the whole box, I did half. Hear me out on this and here's why. Because this is going to sit up like a strawberry shortcake, like a trifle in this dish right here. So once I layer on the filling and stuff, you don't want it to get soggy. So you don't want too dense of a cake. We want moist, but we don't want super, super dense, okay? So go ahead and give your dry ingredients a stir. So to my cake mixture, I got four large eggs. If you have jumbo eggs, then you go with three. If not, go with four. Now, this is a good butter cake recipe to have just generalization because it holds up well and it soaks up any flavor. So, with that being said, my butter, we're going to use seven tablespoons of butter. I went with a good quality unsalted butter. Your unsalted butter is still your uncured butter. But I want that butter and that vanilla flavor to really, really shine through. So, even without strawberry topping, y'all, we layering in the flavor. So let me get the eggs mixed in and we come back with the butter. I normally go in with one cup of milk. I want to go with only three-fourths cup of milk this time. And this is just regular whole milk. No half and half, no heavy cream. Which is going to give you six ounces of milk. So you go ahead and get that in there. Because again, remember, I don't want it as moist as a super, super moist, dense cake. But I do want like a pound cake, cakey consistency. More like a crumbly cake. Because remember, we layer in other things on top of that. So you get this all mixed up. Just give it about a good two-minute mix on medium. And then we'll drop in our butter and so the flavor. So I'm getting my butter all together. Happy almost Mother's Day to all the moms. You know, so this is a hard job y'all got out here. Um, shit, just the, the social climate of the world today, baby. It is hard out here. So... To all the moms, I, I salute y'all because I coming home from work, I just don't know, baby, if I could balance that coming home from work and dealing with the kids. I guess if you had to, you will, but I just want to say One salute to y'all. But that Kerrygold butter, she is deep in that yellow color, which makes for good butter. And I normally keep her on hand for certain desserts. But some of the other cakes that I'll be remixing is going to be full with so much other flavor that the really expensive butter is not needed. But um, for a butter cake, you got to go for the, the big boys on this one. And y'all, my introduction to butter cake was with my grandma. Um, she would take pecans and make the best nut cake around the holiday time because we had a pecan tree in the yard. And... She used to candy the pecans and put on top and then put some in the batter. It was so leaving the butter out and soften. I didn't have to melt. It's down in there. It's doing its thing. Now, I'm going to take some lemon extract, right? One, two, just a few drops. Just like one, two, three, four drops. Um, same way if you were to make a five flavor pound cake, it's the same thing, okay? So this is some almond extract, which brings out the flavor in lots of things, believe it or not. And only a few drops to do. Just one, two. Because this is a, it's a butter cake. So we're going butter flavor. And y'all know vanilla bean paste. Y'all already know how I roll. And again, I just cut um, Duncan Hines and some other cake mixes and puddings. Five for five. Check them grocery store deals. So that's your vanilla. And y'all, this is relatively simple. I'm going to mix this one more time. Because I don't want to over mix. And this is going straight to the bun pan. And then let me hit y'all with the bonus round. So we're going to do some chocolate shooters like these are on amazon and you got the little dessert spoons they sell them in bigger ones too but with the brunch we got so many other things i don't want to overwhelm them with so much food so check we have some swiss rolls we have some pudding and i have some cookies so use your imagination right you know they make the jelly filled strawberry ones you could take vanilla pudding and you can take some you know, some butter cookies. Or you can do when they have the lemon rolls, the pumpkin rolls, the pumpkin with the butterscotch pudding. All of that works. And crush the 
carrot cake Oreos on top. So cute little brunch um, idea. So what I did is I cut my Swiss roll in half and then another half of that, another half of that, like a, a half. Well, it's a whole, a half, a third, a quarter. And then you just want to take it and you want to layer it in your dish really cute. You can layer it flat or I find that if you layer it against each other, you'll see the swirl. So if you have a crowd that may not really do chocolate, that is okay. Again, play with your flavors. Like, I am not opposed to even store-bought cakes, y'all. You can take some store-bought cake and crumble this on the bottom with some pudding and, and get creative. Like, I am all about um, savings and coupons and cute little desserts and whatnot and going about it the easy way because some things life is hard enough some things ain't gonna stress me out okay and and cooking honestly ain't one of them bacon definitely ain't one of them i got 99 problems but bacon kicks and coming up with cute cheap desserts ain't one baby so you see how i have this i want the swirl to face the outside and, then and making a big bowl of pudding I was able to find these. This is the chocolate one by Hunts in the family size cup. And to take the package flavor out, for every one that I open, I'm going to drop in a little vanilla. Although it's chocolate, you know, vanilla just heightens. And we want to stir that in because, again, that'll take away that box flavor. Now, let me make y'all laugh about my family, y'all. I have a relatively large family. And what's going to happen is the same people come to the events all the time, right? My family, we do cousins night and things like that. So this is technically my cousin's event. Um, aunts, uncles, all of them come too. But baby, we got the same people that come, don't bring nothing, and walk off with all the food, honey. But that's family. What can you do? So then you take the pudding like this and you layer it. And this dessert actually sits in the fridge until you're ready to serve it. So it's really cute and really simple, y'all. Look at that. So I only did 12. I only did a dozen. So let me get these. Y'all get the point. Y'all don't have to see me. And so my bowl right here, I got some Oreo cookie pieces. Um, do them as thick up then as you like it, okay? Um, I just didn't feel like getting out the food processor and chopping it like really, really fine. And I ain't, I ain't feel like doing it in the bag either. So it's going to be what it's going to be, babies. Um, but again, y'all, cute little brunch idea. Mix up your flavors. And it is late at night. So that cake that's baking, I need that to completely cool. So I'm going to get these cuties wrapped up in the fridge. And we'll be back with the jump off in the morning. Good night. Three containers of strawberries in here, y'all. Um, cleaned, chopped up, and I went to my local farmer's market. Y'all, look how big these berries are. So I split them and then chop them like that. Try to get them small enough, but they're hella, hella cute. So now we're going to go in with some fresh lemon juice because, just because you need to. So this freshens up everything, wake everything up in the bowl. Y'all know how we do, and don't do like I did last time with all the seeds, but you want to give your strawberries a douse of the lemon juice. Because what's going to happen is you got whipped topping and everything else you're going in with, so we want this as fresh as... So also, I went in with some um some lemon zest, y'all, so go ahead and do that. This is one package of strawberry gel. I always underestimate how much gel come in this pack. I don't want it too, too soggy, so this is about a quarter of a pack. I'm going to stop right here and give it a stir and see if it's the thickness I desire. Actually, you're folding it in because you want it to coat all the berries. Like I said, you don't want it soupy because we have a pound cake. That's so with a pre-packaged product, y'all know the name of the game. All we do is go in and jazz it up and add flavor. So I got some fresh lemon juice. I got some fresh lemon zest. And we're going to go hit just with a little bit of vanilla. Because like I said, we're taking the box pre-packaged flavor out of everything. And then I'm going to whip the cool whip back here. I'm going to stir in some vanilla bean paste into all my containers of cool whip. So y'all probably won't see me do that on camera. But I'm telling y'all, that's what I do to take that packaged mm -hmm. taste out. The pound cake, we want the round bunt part facing outward, okay? So this is layer one. 
And you can kind of stagger them, stack them on top of each other a little bit, like a little caddy corner like that. And in most cases, if I'm making a big one, I'll bake two. But like I said, we got so many other desserts there that this one ain't that it will do, baby. It won't have to do. It cake down order operation is very important. You will go in with the whipped cream next or whipped topping, whipped topping, cool whip, whipped topping, not whipped cream. Whipped cream will be too soggy. But this order operation is important because um, the gel, like I said, you don't want to make the cake too soggy. So you want your cool whip or your whip topping to sit upright just like this and then you layer the strawberry gel on top so that's layer one and it don't have to be technical or perfect y'all I make these in the little shooter cups too you know people think I'm a caterer I'm not I'm just a, a at home and with a spoon of your strawberry gel and you fan it out that is it. That is all. Just like so. Just like so, like so. Or like tab with the brown, say like so, like that. And then on top of this, we're going to hit another layer of cake. And this dessert is good for the, um, the imperfect bunt cake. See the little holes down there? You want to go in the middle of your bunt cake. All them crumbs that's on the bottom of your bowl, go ahead and pack that down in there. Get every last piece, fill it with every last piece of cake you can. See how we looking so far? Nice and cute. So y'all, this is one box, this is one cake. So when you get down to them last them crumbs on the plate, look, I'm chopping it up with a knife and I want to take that and I want to put that down. I don't like covering the camera. Down in the middle, like that, bits and pieces. And hit y'all to the T. Down here in the south, we got Publix. And I know other grocery stores would make these like in tall cups. Um, they use like leftover yellow cake. Or as somebody called and ordered a cake and didn't want it again. They would then crush it up into bits and pieces like that. And sell these as parfaits. Um, but if you ask me, this was the downfall of KFC. I don't know who over there running things. But I told, I don't know if y'all watched my TikTok when I first made this. This is this was me and my dad's bonding dessert. Like every other day, like at least three, four times a week, we had us a cup of strawberry shortcake from KFC. And I am 40. And see, that's what I'm saying. The memories you make with your parents and your family, it be the small things. Because I remember that. And living downtown Charleston, we didn't live far from KFC. So I remember being in high school. And even stopping by after after school, everybody going to get a bag of chips. I'm going to get a little container of strawberry shell cake, y'all. That was my jam. And then when they KFC stopped making it, um, I didn't start making this till I was about 30. And no, probably like 28. And I'm 40. My dad died um, like six years now. So I would still make one and bring it by the house every chance I got and he enjoyed it. So memories for me but still one of my favorite desserts like I said KFC, count your days. But everybody on this YouTube or whatnot, I thank you and I'm done. I'm going to let this sit up like this and I'm going to wrap her up and, take, and not take her to work but I got to get ready to go make the money. Happy Mother's Day y'all.